Hello, everybody. This is Stefan Ranox, and today we're going to do something special. I thought I'd make a Let's Program series. You may wonder, what is a Let's Program series? Well, it's a series of Let's Programs. Then you will ask, what are Let's Programs? Well, basically, a Let's Program is like a Let's Play. But instead of playing a game, we're going to program one with processing. It's processing because that's the only coding program I'm used to due to school lessons. And yeah, I hope we have a lot of fun. I beg you, I really beg you, please don't mistake this video as a tutorial or a lesson video or a video that schools you in programming because I will ex I won't explain anything, okay? And I suck pretty much at programming. But I have fun when I program. It's like the fun I had with animations. And I want to share this fun with you. So I decided to film me while I'm programming and then I upload it. The thing is, um, currently I have no microphone and I have no sound card that allows me to use a microphone and headphones. And I heard if you want to use a microphone, you, have, you also have to use headphones. And I have... I only have one slot at my laptop. You may wonder why I don't use my um, laptop microphone then. Well, the thing is, um, if I'm typing, you can't understand anything what is said into the microphone. It's very horrible. And that's why at the current state, I have to film my actions on the laptop and then I have to fast forward then and then I have to put the audio comments beneath them. If you ever should have questions how I program something, then you can ask me and I will try to um, make a video where, where I explain my codes. Just ask me in the comments. I would really appreciate it if you don't write comments like, oh, you should program it that way and that way. Because um, programming is like solving little riddles. And I want to solve them by myself. It's like you're playing you make a let's play of a point and click adventure and everyone tells you how you can solve the riddles that's not very nice if i really want some help then i would go to the forum you can ask a lot of questions to the forum and most of the time they will be answered for example i had some problems how i can um change the movement directions with um, the deviation of the mouse X coordinate to the middle of the screen. And luckily, Chris helped me. Chris is very famous on the forum because he is a genius. Um, if you don't know which forum I talk about, it's the processing forum. It's pretty good. And like I, uh, like I said, if you ask some questions, then probably the first one who will answer you is Crystal. Chris here. And he helped me a lot. Because of his code ideas, I could later improve my camera mo movement. And that was pretty nice. Because I set days on this camera movement. And I was really frustrated. But now I'm very happy. And when I solved the camera problem, I was so happy I 
ran around the house dancing and singing and jumping. I was very happy. The game I'm currently programming while you watch this is called Ariel. Ariel, I don't know how to pronounce it in English. And with Ariel is not Ariel the little mermaid mermaid meme meant. It's um the air spirit Ariel from Shakespeare's The Tempest. It's I never read it, but I know there is a air spirit called Ariel who serves Prospero, the mage of the story. And the game I want to make is set in a, in a world where the earth is shattered and everything that remained are flying islands. Well, that's pretty uncreative, I know. And it's very much influenced by air, memories of old, by the German studio Dedelic. Air is written A-E-R. Don't mistake this as a real game. It's just for me, it's just for fun, and it's just trying. Most of the time, I do just try and fail with my codes. That's basically it. However, where was I? It's set in a world where the earth is shattered and all what remained are flying islands. And in this world, there is a race been next to the human race and it's called Ariel. Because these humans who have marks under their eyes are in are capable of controlling the wind. Yeah, they're pretty much airbenders, I know. <laughs> Sorry. And because of their powers, they are used to control the wind for the airships. I don't know if I speak this right. Airships. I don't know, it's just ships with some balloons on them and the areas have to change the wind direction so that the ship can sail wherever it wants. That's basically the story and the story is about an aerial girl that um, breaks free. That's basically the story. I try to make it open world. At this moment, I finished her attacks and other things. I'm at, currently I'm working on how to save game progress. I could manage it to save the progress. But when I press the delete button I I programmed, it doesn't delete. I don't know what to do. But I will try it by myself. Please don't answer me what I could do. When I want some help, then I will go to the forum. I just want to solve it by myself, okay? So... I don't know what I am doing in the video right now. I just know that I want to fix um, the jump animation. Not the jump animation, but um, the gravity rules. I want to fix them. I have to. And that's basically it. Now I probably will watch it what i have done and comment it yes ah yeah ah yeah um what you could see at the beginning of the video was what i created before 
It's basically a start screen, a help menu, and a control menu where you can find the controls. And that I started to film when I started to create areas. So the world. I think I'm gonna make it with different areas and you can go from one area to another area. I don't know. I don't know if I would make a, an inventory, but I think I'm gonna do something like that. And I think I make a map so you can make fast travels. So you can travel fast. I don't know. We call it Schnellreise. I don't know what's it in English. Yeah. Basically, I thought I could talk about some topics while I'm programming. So like Minecraft YouTubers or Let's Players in general who um, play their game and then they talk about topics. But... Um, I have no microphone that works and when I'm typing my laptop microphone doesn't work so I can't um, do it. So I have to comment some things after I filmed. It has some perks because I can watch TV while I am programming and I can talk to my mother but it also has some disadvantages because when I want to talk to people who are interested in the same topics like me then I'm very wrong at with my mom because she is not very much interested in topics I am interested in. But I think that's normal. So, yeah. I don't know even if, when I have a micro microphone or so, if I would um, make program and comment at the same time, because basically it's it takes a lot of time to program. and. It takes a lot of time for to develop films that are longer than an hour. And I don't want to make hour-long videos. Or at least um, I think when then it will be 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is much too short to make a good let's program part so I think it's gonna be like this forever with fast forward s films and me um, talking some rubbish <laughs> yes I'm talking rubbish I know and that's basically it comment if you want me to make live comments if you, if you can call it that way, if you can name it that way. Okay. Another thing that bothers me very much is the fact that I can't use OBS anymore because I had a Windows 10 update and now my OBS don't want to work. I don't know why, it just doesn't do it. Maybe because my graphic card isn't that big or developed, I don't know. I thought maybe I could talk about some topics that interest me while, while I'm programming. And I thought maybe that I could talk about things like how I would have ended um, games. For example, Detroit Become Human. Basically, I'm not a gamer, I'm more a game watcher. Um, I only know Detroit Become Human because I watched the Let's Play of Gronk. If you don't know Gronk, he is a German 
Let's Player and he's very famous in our country. And if you can speak German, I would um, recommend him because he's pretty funny and it's very enjoyable to watch his videos. Okay, currently I'm working, I'm ready with the 16th part of the Let's Program. And the next part I will do is the 17th. And like I said, I'm very bad at programming. So if you want to see someone who really sucks at something, then watch me. I think people who are masters in programming will become desperate because of this video. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. But it, it it's a joy for me when I program. So, yeah. I already had this phase with Scratch. Scratch is a little game engine for kids. And I brought it with a USB stick to my computer. I took it away from the school computer. I'm so a hacker. And yeah, I programmed some, if you can call it, call it program i made some games with it which were not really games because i suck at programming i even suck at scratch and here comes a very very funny thing some months ago i downloaded the unreal engine because i thought hmm i want to make a game and then i tried it and failed and now i'm here programming with processing because I'm too dumb to understand the, the Unreal Engine. Yeah, I'm really too dumb to, to understand the Unreal Engine, but I'm programming with processing. But I think maybe the Unreal Engine is, is really a, a, li a little bit more complicated. I don't know. I'm, I'm not as experienced as some others um, in this topic. If you want to start programming yourself, I really recommend the informatic lessons you get at school because that's basically all my all what I can do now is based on the informatic lessons in school and of course is based on the help of Krissa who is the genius of the forum of processing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end my audio tape here because I don't know what I should talk about now. And so have fun watching the rest of the video or don't watch the rest of the video. I don't know. Do what you want. And we see us if you want. <laughs> Bye.